Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson is presented by Actistat, Dana Springs, Ashford Stud, Breeders' Cup, Claiborne Farm, Daily Racing Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityBets.com, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Jerry Parks Insurance Group, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, Quillen Leather and Tack, Spendthrift Farm, Sucremate Equine, and Windstar Farm. Hello everyone and welcome to Thoroughbred Week featuring Kentucky Derby prospects in the Grade 3 Lecomp Stakes and the California Derby along with a stretch duel in the Sunshine Millions Classic. We begin with the Jazzle Stakes from Aqueduct. Kid Cruz, the 2-1 favorite, John Embrial has the call. Majestic Affair with the lead over Day of Fury. They continue to run 1-2. Royal Posse now on the move. In third, as Storm and Monarco drops back, Kid Cruz, widest of all, then Lucky Lotto and Turco Bravo, and the field is coming for the top of the stretch. Majestic Affair is the one to catch, and Majestic Affair has opened up here. Majestic Affair's got a four-length lead. Royal Posse, Kid Cruz, chasing Majestic Affair, who is in front by five as they come down for the 16th pole. Then it's Royal Posse, Lucky Lotto, and Kid Cruz. It's Majestic Affair and Kendrick Carmouche in the jazzle. Majestic Affair, the front running winner by three and a quarter lengths over Royal Posse. Kendrick Carmouche aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 142 flat. A two-time stakes winner sprinting last January, the Chad Brown trainee is now two for two around two turns after being put up on a DQ and an optional creamer over the track and trip in his latest. The four-year-old gelding by Majestic Perfection was bred in Kentucky by Doug Oliver. Majestic Affair has earned $332,000 for Thomas Coleman and Doheny Racing Stable. Kendrick Carmouche with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horse Fans, the safest way to the winter circle. To Oaklawn Park for the fifth season stakes, departing the 9-5 to five favorite, here's the new voice of Oaklawn Park, Peter Aiello with the call. Inside half a mile away, they went an opening half mile in 48 and 1. Aquetto Red continues to shoulder the load. Departing is, has every opportunity. Racing in second now. And CJ McMahon just gave Street Strategy his cue. He's third, trying to gain ground. Raghib has an upset possibility. 25 to 1 and in range. Two better than Smack Smack. Then down to the inside is incremental. And they're at the top of the stretch. Aquetto Red trying to do it all the way. Street Strategy on the outside, departing between horses. Then Raghib inside the final furlong. On the inside, a Quetto Red refusing to yield, but McMahon and Street Strategy surging on the outside. Departing pins his ears between them. It's departing. It's Street Strategy. It's Street Strategy. Five to two second choice Street Strategy holds off departing by head while getting three pounds from the favorite. The winner under 119 pounds and C.J. McMahon in 143 and three. Purchased privately by Randy Patterson last fall, the Randy Morse trainee was making his first start since finishing seventh in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. The five-year-old horse by Street Sense was bred in Kentucky by Glencrest Farm and Darley. A $30,000 Keeneland September yearling turned $425,000 OBS April two-year-old. Street Strategy has earned nearly $283,000. For all your insurance needs, a specialist at Jerry Parks Insurance Group is there to assist you with 40 years of exceptional coverage. Look for Jerry Parks, John Cassie, or Kelly Weeks at the OBS Winter Mix Sale. To fairgrounds for turf horses in the Grade 3 Colonel E.R. Bradley Handicap. Chocolate Ride, the 4-5 to five favorite, John G. Dooley has the call. Half mile for Chocolate Ride, 48th and 2 fifth seconds. It's Chocolate Bride as they round the far turn. Chocolate Bride continues to make the running here for Florent Giroux. Skyflight now being ridden to pick up. Hot Zapper toward the inside flashlight. Roman approval. Barb's been switched out. De Baca. We come back to String King. And Potomac River last under a quarter to go. Three quarters, one minute 12. And two fifth seconds. It's Chocolate Bride. Chocolate Bride coming down toward the final furlong. Now flashlight switched out. On the outside is Blarp. Roman approval between horses staying on. Then Skyflight has dropped back past the 16th. Chocolate Ride, Chocolate Ride holding them all at bay. Chocolate Ride has won the Colonel E.R. Bradley Handicap. Odds on favorite Chocolate Ride takes the field gate to wire to defeat Roman approval by three parts of a length. A 1 2 finish by Keeneland Sales graduates. Florent Giroux, the winning rider in 143 and 1. 
The former claimer is five for six over the fairgrounds turf, including a pair of graded stakes last spring. The Brad Cox trainee won an optional claimer over the course and trip in his latest. The six-year-old gelding by Candy Ride was bred in Kentucky by Brian Kahn. It was a $260,000 Keeneland September yearling. Whitworth Racing claimed the winner for $40,000 in November 2014. Chocolate Ride has earned $446,000. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbredweek.com. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the Silver Bullet Day Stakes coming up in this segment. Three-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. Three-year-old fillies on opening day at Oaklawn Park in the Dixie Bell Stakes. Durango, the three to five favorite, Peter Aiello has the call. They pass the half mile and kick to the far turn. Marquis Miss puts ahead in front. Back to second now is uh, toward the inside alien giant. Durango starts to make headway. Third now with within two and a half of the lead while continuing to progress. Long shot Go Lady J tries to keep her company. It's a stretch of two to Catalyst warming to the task while four lengths off the pace. Then above fashion and don't boss me and they run to the top of the stretch. On the inside it's still Marquis Miss shaking up for the drive and trying to cut the corner and go for more. Durango to the attack is second. Into the clear goes Catalyst and on the far outside, it's Don't Boss Me. Through the final furlong, Marquis Miss shaken up for the drive by Channing Hill, responding to the challenge of Durango. And Marquis Miss is booting clear. Upsets continue on opening day at Oaklawn. It's 17-1. to 1. It's Marquis Miss in the Dixie Bell. Long shot Marquis Miss by Pin Oak Stud Stallion Cowboy Cal takes the field gate to wire to defeat odds on favorite Durango by two and a half lengths. Channing Hill aboard in 1-11-3. Winner of the Arlington Washington Lassie first asking, Marquis Miss finished off the board in her next three starts at two. But the Ingrid Mason trainee is sharp in her three year old debut. The filly was bred in Kentucky by David Jacobs. A $20,000 OBS June two year old, Marquis Miss has earned nearly $105,000 for Joe Ragsdale. For Darby Dan Stallions, Jersey Town, Perfect Soul, and Tel Aviv Graded stakes winning or graded stakes producing beers are eligible to breed for free. Stakes winning or stakes producing beers are eligible to breed at half off the stud fee. The Breed Secure program is also available at a 50% discount in 2016. To Aqueduct for the Ruthless Stakes, after four scratches, only three challenged one to 20 favorite Constellation. Once again, here's Johnny Brial. Constellation by a clear length. Wave of Glory in second. Now Kalabaka moves up on the outside and Mo Demore is down at the rail. Constellation gets clear by two and a half lengths. Mo Demore into second. Kalabaka is alongside and Wave of Glory is now back in fourth. And the field comes into the stretch. And it is Constellation now with a five length lead. Modemore, Calabaca, farther back, it's Wave of Glory. Constellation pouring it on here. It's Constellation, and she was out of this world today. She wins the Ruthless by eight or nine lengths. I'll make the official margin ten lengths as Constellation rolls home over Calabaca. A Rad Ortiz Jr. up in one ten and four. A first out maiden winner at Saratoga, the Steve Aspison trainee went on to finish third in the Grade 1 Spinaway Stakes and second in the Grade 2 Matron Stakes before capping off her juvenile campaign with a victory in the furlough stakes over the track and trip. The filly by Bellamy Road was bred in Kentucky by Windstar Farm. It was a $155,000 Keeneland September yearling turned $800,000 OBS March 2-year-old. Constellation has earned nearly $275,000 for LNJ Foxwoods. Constellation paid the minimum two ten to win and is the Malone's favorite of the week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's favorite steakhouse. To fairgrounds for three-year-old fillies in the Silver Bullet Day Stakes. Stage play the three to five favorite. Once again, here's John G. Dooley. They race up the backstretch. Midnight on O'Connor leads here for James Graham. Midnight on Okani with lovable this right there tracking the leader at the four and a half. Stage play third and close up. Annabelle moves up between Phillies. Jet Black Magic, the Delta Princess champion, holds the rail with inside four furlongs to go. Then comes Northwest Tail, outside Phillies, more than most trails in seventh. The half mile for Midnight on Okani. 47 and four for seconds, three furlongs to go. Midnight on Okani between horses, lovable this. 
Stage play now gaining traction, and here she comes. Stage play now comes to take on Midnight on O'Connor. Lovable Bliss as they straighten. Jet Black Magic being asked to pick up. Switched out now. Then Northwest Tail. We trail back to Annabelle and more than most. Top of the stretch. Three quarters, one minute 12. And three fifth seconds. It's stage play. Stage play has taken the lead here in the final furlong. It's stage play. Putting her best foot forward. Pulls clear from Midnight on O'Connor. Then Lovable Bliss with Jet Black Magic vying for third. Well inside the final half furlong. It's stage play. With a win on the wire and the silver bullet day. Odds on favorite stage play defeat front running midnight on Oconee by a length and a quarter. A stakes double on the card for Florent Giroux. Time of the race 143 and 3. A maiden winner on debut at Keeneland last fall, the Steve Asmussen trainee won the ranks to riches stakes at Churchill Downs in her second start before wrapping up her two year old season with a runner up finish in the Grade 2 Goldenrod Stakes. The filly by Curlin was bred in Kentucky by her owner, Mike Rutherford. Stage play has earned $213,000. Spindthrift Farm stay in Hampton Court, a record-setting Group 1 winning son of the great international sire of sires, Redude's Choice, is now available for inspection. Hampton Court has a tremendous stallion's pedigree and is being offered through Spindthrift Farm's Share the Upside program. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the Grade 2 La Cunada Stakes coming up in this segment. We begin with three-year-olds at Golden Gate in the California Derby. All about action, the 8-5 to five favorite, Frank Miramati has the call. Into the far turn they go, all about action at the rail, Algernon. They've been stride for stride most of the journey with Frank Conversation stocking third. Markula is in fourth, four lengths off the lead. Mana Strike is now being worked upon, joined and passed by Canada. It's Algernon, Frank Conversation, looming up with a dangerous three-wide bid. All about action, hugs the rail. These three arrive at the top of the stretch, chased by Markula. They're heading to the eighth pole, all about action. And Frank Conversation, Frank Conversation, though, is doing the better work under a hand ride from Mario Gutierrez. Markula on the outside starts to chase him, but Frank Conversation in a dominant California Derby victory, he just crushed him. Five to two second choice, Frank Conversation defeats 11 to one Markula by two and a half lengths. Mario Gutierrez aboard in 143 and one. Third in the grade three Cecil B. DeMille stakes on turf, the Doug O'Neill trainee switched to the main track to finish fifth in the grade one Los Salamitos Futurity. The Colt by Quality Road was bred in Kentucky by Mark Keller. A $65,000 yearling and a $120,000 OBS March two-year-old, Frank Conversation has earned $110,000 for Redham Racing. The winning connections teaming up for another prospect to join undefeated champion Nyquist on the Kentucky Derby Trail. DRF Reading, home of the new sire-powered results tool. Access race results from North America. Visit drf.com slash breeding for additional information. To fairgrounds for three-year-olds in the grade three Lacombe Stakes, Mo Tom, the two-to-one favorite, John G. Dooley has the call. The quarter in 23 and three for seconds, they have five furlongs to go. It's Z Royal, leader of the pack. Z Royal out in front, leads by length and a half to Pinnacle Peak second. At the inside, Fish Trap Road third with Uncle Walter in fourth. Destin is seven from the leader, Z Royal. Here's the half mile pole. Mending fences in the orange cap. Then comes Tom's Ready, who's still 10 from Z Royal. We come back to Mo Tom. The one well outpaced is Tarpon Bay Road. Half mile for Z Royal. 47 and one fifth seconds on the far turn. It's Z Royal with three furlongs to go. Z Royal, Pinnacle Peak, now being ridden hard to assert at the two and a half. It's Z Royal still leading. Now, on the outside, here comes Tom's Ready, has the blinkers. Uncle Walter picking it up. Then toward the inside, Fish Trap Road under pressure. Mo Tom also gains ground now. Into the stretch with a quarter to go. Three quarters, one minute 12, and two fifth seconds. Z Royal just clings on Uncle Walter. Here's Tom's Ready, and Mo Tom charging down the center of the track. Pinnacle Peak is fifth, final 16th. It's Tom's Ready, and Mo Tom. Tom's ready and Mo Tom, a GNB racing one, two. It's Mo Tom and Corey Lettery. Favored Mo Tom by Coolmore American Stallion Uncle Mo, closest strongly to defeat Tom's ready by two and a quarter lengths. Uncle Walter third for a sweep by Keeneland Sells graduates. Time of the race, 143 flat. 
Bo Tom broke his maiden on debut at Ellis Park and captured the street sense stakes at Churchill Downs before finishing third at the Grade 2 Kentucky Jockey Club stakes in his two-year-old finale. The colt was bred in Kentucky by Hargis and Sandra Sexton and Silver Fern Farm. Trained by Tom Amos, Mo Tom has earned $211,000 for GMB Racing, which also owns the Comte runner-up, Tom's Ready. The, the colt was consigned by Warrendale Sales to the 2014 Keeneland September Yearling Sale, where he was purchased by GMB Racing for $150,000. Grade 3 Lecomte Stakes winner Mo Tom, the Keeneland Sales Graduate of the Week. To Santa Anita for fillies and mares and the Grade 2 La Cunada Stakes, Terrace, the even money favorite, Michael Rona picks up the call. So they come past the three quarters pole and Illuminance in front narrowly. Your hill were going up to Eyeballer at the five eighths pole and Stevens is content to let that pair stride along two lengths in front of him as he settles Taris down kindly in the third position. Bird at the wires running fourth, only a length behind Taris. And now it's a gap of four lengths to Oscar Party, whose jockey looks inconvenienced in the saddle. As they pass the half-mile pole, Illuminant only a head in front of Yahilwa, and two lengths to Taras with Bird at the Wire on the outside, fourth. And forget about Oscar Party, it has not gone right for her. Three-eighths left to go, and here's the move, three wide from Taras. She goes up sharply to engage Yahilwa and the early leader, Illuminant, and Bird at the Wire has been following Taras everywhere she goes. At the quarter pole in the Larkin Yada, Illuminant hard ridden on the inside tries to stick with Yahilwa and Taris and now Bird at the Wires lost ground on that trio. Three sixteenths left to go and it's Taris sweeping to the lead. Taris has dashed away at the eighth pole with a two and a half length advantage over Yahilwa, Illuminant and Bird at the Wire wandering wide only plodding home and it's all Taris in the Larkin Yada. She's getting the Mylander sixteenth. No worries. Taris by four lengths to Bird at the Wire with Yahilwa third just in front of Illuminant. Terrace by Claiborne Farms Tagging Flatter rolls home by five and a quarter links of her bird at the wire. Yahilwa third for a sweep by Keeneland Sales graduates. Gary Stevens up in 144 and one. Third in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint, the Simon Callahan trainee stretching out after winning the Grade 3 Go for One handicap at a flat mile. The five year old mare was bred in Kentucky by Claiborne Farm and Adele Dill Snyder and was a $90,000 Keeneland September year lane. Following her nine-length victory in the Grade 2 Raven Run Stakes at three, she was purchased by Michael Tabor, Derek Smith, and John Magner for $2,350,000. Terrace has earned nearly $808,000. Access Thoroughbred Week online every Saturday on Thoroughbred Daily News at the TDN.com. Coming up, a stretch duel in the Sunshine Millions. The Feature Race of the Week is presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936. To Gulfstream Park for the Sunshine Millions Classic, Mexicoma, the 6-5 to five favorite. Here's the call by Larry Colmas. They're off in the Sunshine Millions Classic. A good start for Mexicoma. A bounding legacy runs with Bulls, Senor Quisqueano, and Morgan's Harbor all showing early speed. And Mexicoma got caught in behind them there and had to steady in traffic going into the turn. Mr. Jordan now moving up on the outside of horses as Senor Quisqueano and Morgan's Harbor make the pace. And Mr. Jordan is up running in third now on the outside, then runs with Bulls and Mexicoma, followed by a bounding legacy down at the rail. Catholic Cowboy and Sataguaro are next, and then comes Roland the Navajo, and last of them all is Your Dream. Dreams are mine. They went 23 and 2 for the first quarter mile. On to the backstretch. There goes Mr. Jordan now to the outside. Mr. Jordan makes a move for the lead as the field heads up the backstretch. Senor Quisqueano running in second. And then it's Runs with Bulls. Mexicoma's fourth on the outside. At the rail, it's Morgan's Harbor. Sataguaro is next. A bounding legacy going up between those two. Then Roland the Navajo. Catholic Cowboys only four and a half lengths off the lead. And last is Your Dreams Are Mine. 47 flat, the half mile. And Mr. Jordan takes charge into the far turn. Two lengths in front. Mexicoma is second. Sataguaro comes under a ride on the outside of Runs with Bulls. Something's gone wrong here with Senor Quisqueano, who's dropped out of contention. Mr. Jordan on top as the field rounds the far turn. And Mexicoma is a length and a half behind.
They've run three quarters in 111 flat. They're coming to the top of the stretch. Mr. Jordan and Mexicoma will decide the Sunshine Millions Classic. They turn for home one, two. Mr. Jordan still there coming to the eighth pole. Mexicoma's running at him, though. Mr. Jordan and Mexicoma. Mexicoma takes the lead. Mexicoma to the front. Mr. Jordan battles him to the finish, but Mexicoma wins it. Mexicoma takes the duel with Mr. Jordan by a length and a half. John Velasquez up in 148 flat, a 106 buyer speed figure. Following a fifth place finish in the Harlan's Holiday Stakes in December, Mexicoma records his first stakes victory. Team Valor International purchased the winner privately from trainer Michael Dilger after he broke his maiden by 13 and three quarter lengths at Delaware Park as a two-year-old. Mexicoma has earned $290,000. Five-year-old horse by Birdstone was bred in Florida by Hickstead Farm. Florida brads, race them or chase them. We'll see you next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week has been presented by Actistat, Nadina Springs, Ashford Stud, Breeders' Cup, Claiborne Farm, Daily Racing Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityBets.com. Jerry Parks Insurance Group, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, Quillen Leather and Tack, Spendthrift Farm, Supermate Equine, and Windstar Farm. Online at tbreadweek.com.